Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you the top 3 money making guides I upload in the month September. But because I didn't upload a lot of money making guides this month, I'm also gonna pick like 2 great money making guides from the month August for this video. For the first money maker you can make like more than 1 million an hour. There are like a couple of requirements like completing the Lost City quest for the Raymond staff and you have to start Fairy Tale Part 2 to use the Fairy Rings. So if you're able to use the fairy rings, just go to the nearest fairy ring, bring a pickaxe, a chisel and stamina potion with two doses. And you also need 100% favor in Arch's house part. Use the code CIS to like great library of current. But before you can use this, you have to pay like this NPC here on Zaya in Arch's house part. So north of the library, you have to pay him first before you can use the fairy ring. So once you are here, we have to run east of the dark altar to here where you see the pickaxe. So we're just gonna run. We also need the spell book. So at the dark altar here, we're gonna need to talk to an NPC to change our spell book. Drink your stamina potion so you can keep running. Here you'll see an NPC, just click on the spell book and you get like the spell book you will need. Also you need like prayer points, so be sure to always get 26 prayer points at least before you do this method. If you have a higher agility level you can use these shortcuts, but right now I aren't high enough in agility yet. So 69 for this shortcut. There is like a couple of more shortcuts that you can use. But I can't use any of them because I only got 48 agility. If you have a higher agility level, you will be able to make more money than 1 million profit an hour. So for this shortcut, you will need 52 agility. And there is like another one. So you can use this shortcut as well. So we are here at the dense runestone, no we have to mine them, so that's why we need like a rank pickaxe and a chisel. So now we gonna mine till we get like a full inventory of them. When you have a full inventory, drink your stamina potion and drop the vial and get like another dense essence block. And once you get this one we have to go back to the dark altar. So now we have to run the whole way back till we get to the dark altar because now we have kinda used the dense SM block on the dark altar and after doing this you are able to bank your dense essence. So if you can use the agility shortcuts it will spare you a lot of time because now we have to run like the whole path. After you use your descent SM blocks on the altar, you can teleport back. It's also good to bring a ring of dueling to teleport to Clang Wars because it's very easy there to restore your prayer points by running through the portal. And from there you can teleport to the closest fair ring for you. So here at the dog altar, just use your dance SM blocks and you get dark SM blocks back. So now you are able to bang them. So now you can place them on your bank. But now I'm gonna show you what you can do with the dark SM blocks. Because now we are gonna make the real money. But if you do this for money you have to do like a, let's say 10 or 20 trips. Collecting dark SM blocks and then we are gonna make barrow teleports or something better. But now for this video I'm gonna show you directly how we gonna make Barrow Teleports. We are here now in Arches Bank and we have to run northeast to this building. So let's go northeast of the bank right now. And in this house you will be able to make like, in my case it's gonna be Cemetery Teleports because I can't make Barrow Teleports or Ape Atoll Teleports yet. But Barrow and Apatol will be more money for each tablet. So here you have to study the lectern. 
and we're gonna make like 25 cemetery teleports so your character is doing this afk now you just have to wait till he have made like 25 teleports for you if you have like a big stack of dark SM blocks you just have to run the whole time back from the bank to this house and you just have to wait till all the cemetery teleports barrel teleports or whatever you are making are done so we're gonna make 25 of them and we're gonna price check them to see our profit we made 25 of them right now let's price check them so the price seems like only 2.2k but OSB price is showing like more than 3k each normally the OSB price will be correct also the barrel teleports will be around 4k each so it's better to do barrel teleports or higher but you need a higher magic level for this so this was the third best money making guide for this month let's go to the second best now the second best money making method for this month is one with combat so first of all we have to teleport to Cyrix Inferno and here we have to run to the shamans so in my opinion using the Cyrix talisman to teleport to here is like the fastest way to get to the lizardman shamans it's just southwest of the location we are here right now so here the shamans on the map if you want to use the same methods as I do you have to bring like a high attack bonus armor so we got 146 attack bonus because we're gonna use a dwarf cannon you need like a high attack bonus so your accuracy of your cannon will be high as well you can do this with range as well there are like a couple of safe spots here there is already somebody here so first of all search for an empty world so we are here in an empty world you will need like a super anti potion stamina potion prayer potions and a super set so here we're gonna place our cannon and we're gonna bait all the shamans to our cannon so our cannon can kill them or help to kill them before you can do this you need 100% favor in Shazen house part as you will need the Shazen armor 5 so to do this you have to run the whole time because when you are standing still versus the shamans you will get damaged if you are running around the chance of taking damage is very low so first of all we gonna break our super strains and super attack the cannon is shooting on them and because we have a high attack bonus the accuracy of our cannon is very high so we just gonna run around and just hit them once in a while because they can hit us with melee so just hit once and run away the purple dots here on the map will explode so you have to run away from them the whole time as well or you will get like a lot of damage normally if you don't have the dragon warhammer you will have around 600k profit an hour killing them but there is a chance you will get like the dragon warhammer one on five thousand so that isn't that bad at all and the dragon warhammer is right now 81 million and based on the calculations you will make like 2.2 million an hour on long term if you still if you keep doing this hunting for the dragon warhammer you will end up 2.2 million an hour doing this method so that's why i'm choosing this one it's pretty good experience because you are training ranged and combat at the same time you're making always around 600k profit an hour even without a dragon warhammer and if you're lucky enough to get one you will end up at 2.2 million or even more they are dropping like a lot of ruined items as well and maybe something good to know is if you die here you can just teleport back with your Cyric Talisman because you keep them in your inventory and just pick up your stuff again so that's kinda a good thing just if you have like inventory spaces left or just need some extra food just let yourself die just run back and you can pick it all up again
After a while, when you are doing this correctly, you will be able to kill like two of them every minute. So it should take around less than 50 hours to get like a Dragon Warhammer. So this is like a great rope and you can get like in 50 hours or even less doing the shamans. So in my opinion it's like one of the best monsters to kill if you want a high drop. And they aren't that hard as well. Maybe the first time if you will come it will be very hard to do this but after a while you know what you have to do and you just have to run like the whole time refilling your cannon and in the meantime you are banking your cannon will keep killing them. So be sure before you are banking or before you dying that you bring that you refill your cannon. So this is like the second best money making method for this month. Let's go to the best one. The best money making method for this month is like hunting the Pharaoh Scepters. I know a lot of people will look weird now because why the hell is Pharaoh Scepters a good money making method? I will tell you why. Normally if you hunt for them you will get one every 4 hours and right now the price of one Pharaoh Scepter is already 7 million. So you have to check this one. So 7 million for one scepter and normally you will get one every 4 hours on long term. I know it's kind of based on luck. Some people will get them like in the first trip. If you are really lucky of course. Sometimes you will get them in an hour and sometimes it will just take like 7 hours. But on long term if you really have the balls to do this on long term. You will be able to get like one every 4 hours. So you are like making 1.7 million every hour doing this method and you are swinging like a little bit your thieving level. So what you have to do, I'm bringing like two scepters because we will need the teleports of it. And as you can see we didn't bring any stone or gold artifacts yet. So we're gonna need to collect them from the game. So we just open the ground gold chest and the sarcophag in every room and go to the next one. Bring like a lockpick to open the doors faster. But without lockpick you will get more thieving experience so it's up to you. It's only gonna do this like a couple of seconds faster each round. But you get like only the half experience with a lockpick. So sometimes I'm even preferring to not bring a lockpick because I get more thieving experience. So every grand gold chest or sarcophag you are opening you are like having a chance of 1 on 1000 to get like the pharaoh scepter so in fact that isn't really bad at all if you do this fast you will be able to open 8 of them every 2 minutes so this means you are opening like 240 of them in an hour and the chance is like 1 on 1000 so around every 4 hours you will get one staff based on the calculations. So just go to the highest room as you can. So in my case is this 51. Here I have to open the sarcophag and the grand gold chest and I have to leave the comp. So now I have to quick leave and I'm back outside. Here I need to teleport again to Yal Savra and I'm directly at the mummy. Here I have to start the mini game again and just do the same the whole time. If you start doing this fast it will like taking you 2 minutes or even less to do this trip as I was doing right now. And if you are able to go to like level 61, 71 you can even do this faster. So this is like the best money making method I uploaded this month. So I'm preferring really this one. But I know on long term it will be boring. But just think about the money and the thieving experience. 7 million just from hunting the Pharaoh Scepter. And you are training your thieving level. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel for more money making guys or any other videos. Thanks for watching.